All right, hello bearded bee people. Welcome back to Being KBs. It's a beautiful and hot July 4th, and I am gonna get into this hive that is washboarding. I don't have a crazy amount of battery life left, so we'll have to try to be quick about this, but I think that'll be just fine. But I figured you guys might be interested. Let's see what's inside the washboarding hive. Okay, so this is another brood box, not a honey box, correct. <clears throat> I'm not going to go crazy deep in this, um, because it's just unnecessary right now. I am going to look underneath. I don't see anything glaring and obvious as an issue. Everything looks pretty decent, and now we'll pull a couple of frames out of the top just to make sure of that fact. Obviously, there is always the possibility of missing swarm cells when you're only looking at the bottom, but if you take that and add that to all of the other points of evidence that you have, um, like by looking at the tops of this box and the fact that they've got a couple frames here that they've largely ignored, and the bottom box wasn't the most densely populated box of bees I've ever seen in my life. So I would have an inclination, or I would have the idea that they are not quite to the cramped swarm level yet. Um, and once again, I, the, the washboarding on the front of the hive is in no way an indication of that. Not really an indication of anything, other than the fact that those bees are bored and I think they're doing some line dancing. Grab your partner, do -si do Okay, so this, I am going to turn this around and make that an outside frame because of the amount of food on it. That's basically all that it is. And then here, I see eggs in the bottom uh, yellowish cells, and all throughout that. And that is basically all I need to see. Um, because, like I said, adding it to all of the other points of evidence that I have that this colony is doing exactly what they need to do. The fact that they're not quite built up. I don't see crazy amounts of drone stuff anywhere. I did not see any big queen cells hanging off of the bottoms of these frames. We'll pull one more out just to marvel at the beautiful brood. A buddy of mine called it brood carpet. And I thought, yeah, it is kind of what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to grab these other blank frames and force them to pay attention to them. And that is all I'll be doing today. <clears throat> Wait, I might add a honey box. But, I mean, that is all I'll be doing in terms of digging into these brood areas. Okay, so I'll be right back with some honey stuff. Okay, so that's about it. <clears throat> as I said, and as was fairly obvious based on what we saw from the inside, that is in no way an indication of swarming, and I would say that it's probably in no way an indication of overcrowding in any way. Um, I just think it's an indication of some bees that are bored, and they're practicing their line dancing. So, that's scientific fact. Have a good rest of your holiday weekend, folks. Thanks for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.